Hey guys, what's up? Well, I'm finally back with a new video of me talking. Yeah, I, I'm... What I'm gonna call this? Uh, a podcast or something? I don't know. But... Something... This is more like an update. Well, I'll do more of these videos, just not updates, but... Reviews or... Or something like that, but... I'm gonna give a little update today. Uh, starting with that, hopefully. So what I so what I want to talk about today is why I haven't uploaded as much videos. Well, I had a bunch of videos that I was supposed to uh, upload on YouTube around Halloween. A lot of Halloween-related stuff. You know, I I was supposed to show my my whole horror DVD collection, which I never did, which I'm very sorry for. Um, and. I was supposed to do some reviews. I made a review of all the Frankenstein movies and a video of all the Hammer films that I've seen that I reviewed. Uh, there was a lot of stuff I did, and I never got uplo upload with them. The reason why is that the camera I use have like um, the file of the clips are so huge that. Sony Vegas can't keep up with the editing, so every time I render it, the audio is always in sync. So that really sucks. Um, there's sometimes uh, Sony Vegas can handle it, but most of the time it doesn't. So that's the reason why I haven't done anything uh, with like videos of showing me. So I'm really sorry for that, but I can't help it. Uh, but I'm planning on getting a new editing software. I'm planning on getting uh, Adobe Premiere uh, Pro uh, something. <laughs> um, it's a professional editing software that I'm s want want to use to my next film. Uh, for those who know me, I make a lot of short films. Well, not a lot of. Uh, only when I get time, but. I'm working on a script. I actually, it's based on uh, a novel, a short novel that I wrote on uh, in, in English class, the class uh, when we had a pre-exam. So uh, the script I'm writing now is actually based on uh, the novel that I wrote, which is sort of a film noir. It's gonna be a really tough movie to make because it's, the setting is supposed to be in the 40s. I have to get all the clothes and everything in details and it's gonna be a I have to have a big budget so I'm writing I'm writing the script and I'm also in the pre-production so this movie will take time it will take time but I'll start filming whenever I'm ready and get the time so yeah um, but I'm really looking forward to that so it's gonna be sort of a film noir but I don't want to say more than that, you know, I just don't want to say more. So yeah, um, I've been watching a lot of movies, and of course I was supposed to do a lot of DVD updates, you know, show you what I bought, but I never got to do that. So yeah, I, there was one day I went to Bergen, which is a big city in uh, Norway, I finally found a lot of seasons for Tales from the Crypt. I've seen them on, you know, I download them on BT Junkie and stuff. I I always up, uh, download things that I can't find on DVD. So I downloaded Tales from the Crypt and I loved it, so I wanted to get it on DVD, but it was impossible to find it. But I had it in a DVD store and I was so happy. But it was really expensive, so I only bought one season. And so yeah, and that's just six episodes, I think. The same as The Walking Dead, which was just six episodes too. Uh, yeah. Um, but Tales from Crypt are awesome, and I hope they still have more of the seasons next time I'll get there. Because, you know, it's soon Christmas, and I'll soon buy things for Christmas, you know. And, uh, you know, I'll I'll get back to Bergen soon, so I I might buy more seasons if they still have some it would be really cool um i've seen a lot of movies lately uh new movies uh i just got harry potter and the deathly hells part 2 
I was supposed to get it on Blu-ray, but the special features, you know, I, I've seen the movie, and I'll see it again. I haven't seen it again, but I'm most interested in the special features, you know, like uh, a documentary, the behind the scenes, and all that stuff. Uh, and mostly, DVDs don't have that anymore, only special editions, but they don't come out at once. They always come out later. Um, and, well, usually the Blu-rays have them. Uh, but, you know, they're a little bit more expensive, but, you know, here in Norway, Blu-ray starts to get really uh, cheap, just like DVDs. So that's cool. But, um, <laughs> I, I went to a DVD store, I saw a shelf with uh, Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part 2 on DVD and Blu-ray. And first I looked at the DVD and of course there was just uh, deleted scenes. That was all. And then I looked at the Blu-ray and that stood nothing. It just said uh, uh, some of the videos is not subtitles on. That was all. It was nothing about uh, you know, documentaries, behind the scenes footage and all that, nothing. And I I didn't want to buy the Blu-ray because it was it was more expensive than a DVD of course. And what if I bought the Blu-ray and there was no special features? And that would disappoint me because I used tons of money for buying a Blu-ray with just a movie but no special features. So I didn't take the chance, I bought the DVD so yeah, uh, so I'll wait for a special edition, or maybe I'll buy the eighth, you know, the DVD eighth disc collection of Harry Potter. I don't know. We'll see. Um, there's one movie. Well, I've seen two movies. Uh, one I saw in the theater, which I loved. One of my favorite movies this year so far. It's The Adventures of Tintin: A uh, Secret of the Unicorn. I loved that movie. It was excellent. Um, it was awesome. Uh, I love Tintin. Um, when I was young, I used to watch Tintin on TV all the time. And I got, um, a box, well, uh, not a box, but a DVD with all the episodes. And it's just so fun to watch them. And when I heard that it was a movie coming out, I was hoping it would be live action, but it wasn't, but that's okay. And when I saw a trailer, I was like, well, it might be in interesting. And then the next trailer came, and it was freaking amazing. And then I got to theaters, I took some friends with me, and they weren't really that interested. We were supposed to watch The Thing remake, but I wasn't really interested in that, so we decided to watch Tintin. And boy, they were glad that they saw it, because they, they enjoyed it just as much as I did. Um... I have to say, Andy Serkis have done one of the best performances this year. He's done Caesar, which was an amazing performance, and he did uh, Captain Haddock. And he's just an amazing uh, actor. Uh, I love him. He's brilliant. Sorry, my dog is barfing. Yeah. Um, he was excellent as Haddock. Uh, people have complained that they never remembered Haddock to be like a drunken man and stuff, but you know, it doesn't really matter because in in the movies they never really stick to the source material from the comics. Not always. So you gotta remember that. When I went to see X Men First Class, I just sat sat there with an open open mind. I didn't want to focus that this was not after the comics because, you know, the original team is Cyclops, um, Angel, Beast, Iceman, and so forth. So, you know, you just gotta sit there and watch it with an open mind. Really. Um, so, that's what I did. And, you know, I, I think that helped a lot. Uh, I loved Tintin. It was great. Um, it was fun to see a good movie from Steven Spielberg. Because he haven't really done really much excellent movies these 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 past years you know uh he did indian jones king of the crystal skull which was all right uh people hated but i think it's all right he did war of the worlds remake which i didn't really like uh so he haven't been really on top lately but 
he might do it better now, you know, Tintin, and next year we'll see War Horse, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, Joseph Gordon Lewitt is in that movie, and I love your Joseph Gordon Lewitt. He's awesome. Uh, so yeah, so there's a lot of things Spielberg is making now. He's been producer in way too many movies. He gotta get back to the director director chair and start directing some movies. Uh, I haven't directed much movies lately, so, uh, yeah. But Tintin was a great movie, I loved it. Um, so, yeah. Um, and I saw Source Code on Blu-ray with Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, Source Code was, I would say, this year's Inception. It was not as amazing as Inception. No way, but I would say that this is this year's science fiction mindfuck Inception. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I thought it was a great movie. A very, very original, great science fiction. I loved it. Um, another movie I saw. This is not a new one, uh, but it's called Gangs of New York, uh, which is people say it's the worst movie Scorsese have done, but I, I have to disagree. I have to say it's actually uh, one of his best. Uh, Daniel Daniel Day Lewis, he was amazing. Uh, and one thing that really su surprised me is that, you know, Cameron Diaz, she's a horrible actor, actress, and, you know, Martin Scorsese, he can make anybody good. She was good in Gangs of New York. He made one of the worst actors nowadays to a good actress. He's amazing. Martin Scorsese is the king, and I really want to see Hugo, which got great reviews, and I can't wait to The Irishman, so there's a lot, a lot of stuff to expect from both Spielberg and Scorsese. Uh, another movie I saw lately, it's a Norwegian movie, uh, Headhunters. Uh, that was a very good movie to be a Norwegian. I wasn't expecting much, but it was really good. I was very surprised. It was, I, I loved it. It was great. Uh, another movie I saw lately was Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, which I really liked. Uh, not my favorite western, but you know it was really good, classic movie. Uh, I've seen two comedies. Um, I saw Meet the Parents, you know, with Rob Nero and Ben Stiller. I've seen the sequels. Um, uh, Meet the Fuckers. It was, it was all right. Little Fuckers. Ah, but Meet the Parents was a funny movie because. I could really relate with the characters, especially Ben Stiller, because who haven't really, you know, if you, you know, I haven't got a girlfriend, I never got a girlfriend, but you know, just, you know, if you're with family or anything, you know, it's hard to explain, but if you watch a movie, you'll understand what I'm talking about here, you you feel like you're in his situation, you can feel the, the embarrassing stuff that happens, and uh, you can really relate to him, and it's really funny and clever. Uh, I really like Meet the Parents. It was, it was pretty good. Another movie that I have to say is the funniest movie I ever seen. Yeah, hands down, the funniest movie I've ever seen so far. It's Clerks. Brilliant, brilliantly written by Kevin Smith. Uh, I love Kevin Smith. He's one of my favorite writers because he makes very good dialogues the, the, the stories are not really good but the dialogue just keeps the movie going you know he has great characters and the dialogue is excellent so that what's keep the movies going every you know uh, his movies he haven't make made really good movies nowadays but uh, you know through the 90s and early 2000s he made a lot of great comedies but clerks is his Definitely best movie. Uh, it was excellent. <sighs> yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll end it here. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon. So, yeah, have a good day.